They say that absence makes the heart grow fonder. And in the immortal words of Joni Mitchell, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. There's real truth in those words for us as we arrive home after five weeks in India. Our journey through India with our boys has taught us a lot, reminded us of how fortunate we are and how wonderful this different adventure we have here on our small farm in the clouds really is. We are humbled, excited, grateful, inspired, and a little bit jet lagged. We are really happy to be home, but what's been most special is to see how excited our boys are to be back. So we're back, we're back on the farm, we're back in Portugal and, when well, he fell, back in real time. <laughs> we are. Um, we've just left the farm actually, um, just go for a quick walk and breathe in and appreciate this fresh air. If you've been watching our videos in India, you'll have noticed um, there is definitely a difference in air quality, shall we say. Um, and we have, well, just become so grateful for the area that we live in and the air that we breathe and take advantage of. Yeah, absolutely. So we thought we'd head out early this morning. My cousin's still with us, so she's gonna look after the kids. We haven't had a minute away from the boys for five weeks, no. um, which has been amazing in lots of ways, but um, it's just been nice to go for a little walk and see what it's about. Enjoy appreciate your company, the... Exactly, yeah. enjoy yours too. Yeah. Um, appreciate the mountains, appreciate the morning, appreciate the fresh air. Um, and when we get back, we'll fill you in on what's gone on while we've been away. Yeah, and the beginnings of new big projects um, starting now. If last episode's project wasn't big enough, it's starting to get grand. Exciting. Crusoe's busy with Joao. We're just doing a really quick project before we get started on bigger things. So, in true newbie fashion, we hit the ground running. All sorts going on this morning. Joao has done the most amazing job at looking after the farm while we've been away. Alongside my cousin and her husband, we've been looking after it and making sure that there was always a present here. We're so grateful to all of them so that we can, you know, to be able to come back and have everything as you left it is Amazing and better, really. So what's on the agenda? Well, John, Joao and Crusoe are laying a pipe, which John will tell you about in a second. And I have come back with a very differently abled little boy. Sawyer is now so much more mobile and he's really in that Morning. phase of wanting to climb on everything. So my most important job for the day is to get this trough emptied because it's filled up with water and that is a rather terrifying hazard so we're going to get rid of that so if you remember back to before we went away john was laying paths all over the farm and trying to link the different parts so he started doing one outside the tiny house because again if you watched our q a about what our plans are are you coming buddy come on um we are going to be extending this stone house so that we've got more space to live when we start building the big house come on sawyer you coming come on you good <laughs> Go. You can do it. No, 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 you climb. That's it. <laughs> All right, this way. So this is as far as we got, new path. It looks really lovely going into the tiny house now and we've got a little kind of platform out the side there where we can sit and have business meetings. <laughs> um, but eventually the path will come down like this and it will turn around like that and it will go through that entrance and this bit will be our new extension. So fingers crossed. But anyway, what are you up to now? 
So I'm basically um, wait there, so yeah. <laughs> Why don't you play with that? Um, so as we as we go around the farm and as we start doing building projects, um, this tiny house we were building around about this time last year. Um, it becomes its own space and it becomes a place where we really want to hang out. Sometimes like the tiny house, we end up spending a lot of time in, in locations um, just because of what it represents within our lives. This has now become the office, basically. It's where we edit most of the videos and where we do lots of YouTube stuff. Um, anyway, um, with it, I, everybody knows I like gardening. Everybody knows I like to plant flowers. Everybody knows I don't know much about it, except I do know all flowers need a little bit of water every now and then and this space last year didn't get watered very often and so whatever we planted didn't live very long or um, it did live it just didn't grow so what we get what Joao and I are doing today is well Joao's dug a trench here we're going to lay a pipe from other areas um, that we've plumbed in previously uh, and just connect a tap up here and that'll mean during the summertime we can water this and hopefully not only will it be a nice little garden, but it'll be super inspiring as we walk into the tiny house. There'll be colours and flowers everywhere and it'll be even more of a space that we want to hang out. Um, didn't taste bad. Cool. Um, so that's the plan. It's a really quick, simple job. These simple jobs we squeeze in every now and then, you know, like this path, we didn't film it for you guys. We just sort of did it when we had some time. Um, next episode, by the way, just so everybody knows, we're going to start, well, we've already started building a big, big project. That's going to happen next episode. You'll start seeing the, the beginnings of something really, really exciting. Um, not that plumbing a tap isn't particularly exciting, but everybody know, also knows that I'm not a big fan of plumbing, which is why I've got Joao helping me today. Right, let's get on with it, finish it. Stay there, sorry. Are you helping Dad? <laughs> oh. Push the button. Go on there. No, this bit here. Squeeze it. Up that one. Like this. Look, it's got a light on it as well. Been, we've basically put, I think, five now, around about five taps all around the farm. Um, and it's all running off of running from our off grid system. Um, ultimately, that off grid system will connect to the bio pool that we're, we're building currently. And again, there'll be a lot of updates. Where's that other screw? Sorry, let me ha handle the screws. Um, there'll, be a, there'll be a lot of updates regarding the bio pool. Um, over the coming weeks because it's something we're starting very very soon we've got the plastic to go in it um, and you know all the ducks are in a row for that one um, so we'll be starting that really 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 soon I honestly could not be more grateful for the weather we've come back to. I think we're going up to kind of 17 degrees every day, which is perfect. The sun is shining. It's glorious for the boys to be outside. And it's just so wonderful to be back in, in like this kind of environment. It's just, it's perfect. Couldn't have asked for more. Where are you off to? Bukka bukka, hey? I was just saying that there's so much water coming out of the um, mine at the moment that when we've built the bio pool, <clears throat> which we will need to do before the, before the late spring, early summer, um, he thinks we could fill 100,000 litres 
in uh, in a couple of days. It's mad, it's isn't a it? Lot. Yeah. Good. All right. The thing about all of these um, details is if you make it easy, if you make your life easy, you're more likely to succeed. And putting water faucets, taps all over the place just makes life easy. And so this garden up here, we might come up here of an evening, be working a little bit late, just go, oh, quickly, I'll take the hose pipe and I'll water everything down. Whereas if we had to get buckets from the trough or fill up buckets from other taps and bring them up here, it would probably only happen once a week maximum. That's pretty much what happened last year anyway. Now, it might be an every day, just sprinkle, sprinkle some water, keep everything a bit damp, 40 degrees centigrade, poof, suddenly we've got these huge plants all over the place. That I'm looking forward to. In fact, one of the next jobs I'm gonna do, probably this afternoon, is nip to the garden centre. Okay, it's what, late, late January, really late January? Um, but it's 18 degrees here, 19 degrees centigrade. What's that in Fahrenheit? Hot, hot, basically, English summer. And the Finns, you guys out there, this is your July. Um, so it's warm. I don't, actually don't know why I'm wearing a jumper at the moment. It's super warm. So planting flowers, I don't feel at all bad about. In the, in the night times, it's eight, nine degrees centigrade, um, but everything should start growing. So as I mentioned, Joao has been amazing while we've been away and has been at the farm making sure that everything was in tip top shape, which we're so grateful for. So we've come back, the lawn is looking super tidy. He's been strimming around the sandpit and stuff and down the bottom around the new road and it all looks so smart. He also has pruned our fig tree for us and I'm really interested, this one behind me here, to see how that does this year. It's such an old fig tree and it really doesn't give us much at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever eaten a fig off that tree. So hopefully a good hard prune will stand it in good stead this year. Um, we now have got lots of wood to do some wood chips with, which will be coming super handy all around the garden and in the veggies. Um, and I'll take you up to the veggie garden now in a second to show you what's been going on there. But the boys are about to lay a pipe. And you should see how happy our chickens are. They look, hello buddy. They look amazing. They are fat, they're flourishing, their feathers are shiny. And the girls have not stopped laying the entire winter, which to me just speaks of happy, healthy chickens. And I couldn't be more delighted to be giving them, them that life. And of course, as they always are, they're here. Part of the family, part of the project. Russo, can you come and help, buddy? What? Over here. Can you push the soil? Where's your buds are? Where is it? Where's my buds are? Outside the garage, I think, Russo, isn't it? Well, no, is it down near the Hobbit house? Yeah. Do we need your, we need your buds, I think? Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll wait. His language has come on unbelievably, hasn't it? Yeah, all four of them. You got it. Yay, well done. So Crusoe speaking a little bit of Finnish, a little bit of Afrikaans, a little bit of Portuguese, and a lot of English. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Come on, buddy, we're waiting for you. Run. Good lad. I got it. Well done. Keep going. Okay. Oh, Crusoe's doing that. I'll carry on with this. Keep going, Crusoe. Well done. I think you got a bit more to do. <laughs> I'm proud of you, buddy. It's hard work, Dad. I can't miss that. Okay. I could do that bit, couldn't I? You could, yeah. 
All right. Let's go and get the other buds, sir. There's two now. Yeah, there's two in the greenhouse. Um, and let's fill up. You that can place. tell we haven't been around for a while because everything's where it should be and in the right place. <laughs> That's right. You have been organising. Right. Well, let's take you up to the greenhouse quickly while I get the buds out, and I'll show you very quickly the veggies. Um, I know so many of you are excited about this and I'm so excited about it too. It's a huge part of what we want to do on the farm and I feel so inspired this year to do bigger and better and more kind of intentional with it. Last year was, I don't know, Joao just did such a great job at it and this year I want to be a lot more hands-on with it and a lot more involved. Anyway, look at these chickens. Fifi's literally glowing in the sun. I'm so proud of them. So, first thing to note is Huckleberry is back in service. And these are the little beans and peas we planted before we went to India and the boys helped with, which is so exciting. So we've planted favas, which is broad beans, and ervillas, which is um, garden peas, like potted peas. We've also planted some mange too. And just there are a couple of rows of onions and there's a whole load of rows ready to be planted. Basically, we've just got this little corner set up at the moment, but obviously we're gonna do the whole veggie garden and I'm gonna get onto putting some seeds and trays probably tomorrow. It's such an exciting year and it's just, I don't know, it's amazing to think back to last year when we started all of this. this. was our first year of planting. I remember putting seeds in trays being like, I don't know what to do and I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and actually, you know, you've just got to trust that Mother Nature knows exactly what she's doing and that things grow. This is the perfect environment for it. We're so fortunate. So, you know, plant, plant, plant and see what we can do. Anyway, I got my buds there. The boys are looking at me, wondering what on earth I'm talking about. I better get back to work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that is funny, yeah. Come on. Come over here and stamp. Oh, you've got no shoes on. Have all your buds here, Christian? <laughs> Push it out the other way. <laughs>
she's old for three years. Old. Very sweet. Help are coming. Are you coming, sir? Let's look at the dogs. It's amazing. All right, let's go test it. What a beautiful first day back, hey love. Nice, easy projects to ease through the jet lag. Crusoe had John up at two o'clock this morning because that's seven o'clock India time. Um, so it was a very early start for John. Sawyer slept until five and doesn't seem to be struggling. But um, anyway, it's been a long couple of days in terms of feeling a bit sort of tired, but these sorts of easy, but such needed projects are the perfect way to start and spend the afternoon in the sunshine with the chickens and the boys. God, I just feel so good.